Brian is in his element. He's gonna crash looking at the sheep. <laughs> Living his Jeremy Clarkson farm dream. <laughs> we have made it. Well done us. Well done Brian. Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new vlog. This is the staycation vlog. It is the birthday boys staycation. <laughs> We have made it to time in, where was this? Letchdale? Yeah. In the Cotswolds. It's beautiful. It was a lovely drive. Ryan's been eyeing up sheep and houses basically the entire way. Yeah. You want to move, basically. I was like, well, I'm sure we can find somewhere slightly further south than this. But, you know. Too bad. Two and a half hours or something. Yeah. And there's plenty of animals around, which makes you very happy. We've been watching way too much Jeremy Clarkson's farm if we didn't want to move out here already we really do now but yeah we are here for a couple of days we're about to check in i'm really excited because i can't remember what room i booked so <laughs> this is going to be it's going to be a surprise for everyone yeah it'll be a surprise for you guys for you and for me I have a, a cheeky bit of my starbucks which i poured all over myself earlier spot the basic bitch with her starbucks You're gonna see me coming a mile off oh my god this is so pretty what what can you say that <laughs> This is my basic bitch uniform, Starbucks, <laughs> and the sunglasses as a hairband. Elite tier hair accessory. Oh my god. My this is hair. so... <laughs> yeah, neither of our gardens currently look this this neat. Oh my god, this is so pretty. <gasps> uh, so cute. I can't wait to wander around here. This is like my dream. We're all checked in. Look at them. What's that? Fashioned, old fashioned drink, an old fashioned geezer. <laughs> He's already messed up the bed. I had to remake it once already. You haven't roly polyed onto this one yet, though. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Here we go. But in all seriousness, it's your birthday. You can roll on the bed as much as you want. I mean, I don't think anyone needs to see well, you. you this is not what the people need to see. No, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> For goodness sake. Honestly, you can't take him anywhere every hotel but anyway we've got a lovely view the room is so lovely it's got this little courtyard out here which is very cute got a nice freestanding bathtub which we're both very very excited about gorgeous little bathroom and this shower looks amazing i'm so excited to have a shower in this so pretty i love this marble So we are ready for dinner. We've managed to bring our dinner slot forward, which is amazing. Sadly, there are no full length mirrors in this room, which is a bit sad because this outfit is so cute. This is a play suit from my friend Lorna's in the style collection, and it is just the prettiest little play suit ever. This is what the back looks like. It has, I don't know what to call it, like structuring to the base of the shorts so that it gives you this really gorgeous silhouette. It's got a tie waist which you can take off if you want. It also has a little popper here so you can really like bring it in and have it covering if you want or you can undo it and I just sit a little bit wider on my shoulders and I find that that's the most flattering kind of V cut for me rather than further in and lower down. I'm wearing my Monica Vinida hoop earrings if my discount code is still working for this i will pop it in the info box just topped up my curls using my new white ghd cordless stylus which i'm just loving my lip color is anastasia beverly hills crush this little number here i have had this for years and rediscovered it recently and i'm just loving it and yeah that is all really to note i haven't topped anything up really other than that apart from my foundation balm which is the kevin aquan foundation balm i have the shade fb06 and fb what is my darker shade medium fb 7.5 and i've got fb 7.5 which is the darker on today i have some little tan ysl flats on i didn't pack any white shoes annoyingly so i'm rolling with that but my bag is my little ysl one so i'm hoping it just kind of works i'm not sure it's my finest outfit but i'm really getting used to like packing and being away from my wardrobe it feels very new to me but yeah this is the outfit loving it so cute that's a lovely little sunset going on over there you can't really see i'm too short this is actually our first date night in what feels like such a long time look at the height difference here this is silly <laughs> can you crouch down please i feel really nervous 
Really? Yeah, like really, I actually got like date nerves, which I never get. I don't have date nerves in like two years, but um, yeah. First date of the summer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a summer we're having. Yeah, I got proper like date nerves as I was getting ready. I was like, oh, I haven't felt this in a really long time. We Where keep we taking gone? the wrong turn. Let's go. <laughs> we need to go this way. <laughs> we do this every time. We need to go in. It feels like we're walking into someone's garden, but we're not. This area is so cute. I can't get over it. This and the pig hotel are actually what I modeled my garden plants on. I'm obsessed with it. The only thing I didn't go for are the funny shaped trees. I'm now just thinking, I want the funny shaped trees. Do I get the funny shaped trees? Can everyone please vote in the comments? So they have this cute little hammer carrier over here, which we spent a lot of time in earlier. Genuinely thought it wasn't going to hold us, but it did. And then this is the main down here. So cute. It would have been rude not to. Yes, agreed. <laughs> the brown bread is my favourite. The sourdough is mine. Which works out great. We're made for each other, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I need to eat some more. Oh my god, you guys. This looks so good. We have extra plates because we're sharing. Chips, which we have already made our way through. This is a vegan pasta dish, it's like garden pasta. And then we have an artichoke risotto. Ryan's looking very happy. We also have extra drinks. We have extra drinks. We're literally double parked. This is great. It's reassuring me that I don't look like I'm wearing a towel today. Thanks, honey. I'm actually wearing this little set today from Free People. I'm really sad that I don't have a full length mirror to show you. I might have to get Ryan to help me do a little OOTD outside. But yeah, I've basically got this top on, which is like really long and flowy, and then it kind of like parts at the middle here. I've got a bikini on underneath, which is from Nadia Anya's collection with Marble Swim. It's very cute. It's the copper colour, I believe, which I love. It's actually more brown on me than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be more ready. I really like the brown. So yeah, that is my outfit for today. I will link everything in the info box and try and get a full length of this so you can actually see it. I've got my 
YSL sandals on my monica vinader earrings in i've straightened my hair today because the curls had pretty much dropped out weirdly the underneath had stayed and then the top was like doing its own thing it's actually about one o'clock we are starting a little bit late with the vlog today because i forgot to take my camera to breakfast and then we went out on a walk and i also forgot to take my camera Ryan was like you're really good at your job you know i was like yeah <laughs> i know see you might have seen a few snippets I'm sorry, I just keep, my camera doesn't fit in my bag so I keep putting it down as I go to get the room key and then I forget to pick the camera back up. But you didn't miss much, we had breakfast. Ryan had the most incredible breakfast, which I think I'm gonna have tomorrow. So hopefully I will show you tomorrow. It was very yummy. Another little off the menu vegan number. I can't remember if I spoke to you last night, but we had dinner in the Ox Barn restaurant here last night and oh my god they were so great they basically just told us what they could make us that was vegan and it wasn't on the menu so you just kind of have to chat to them about it and there was a pasta which was incredible we shared two dishes so one was the artichoke risotto and then they made us a what was it like vegetable garden garden vegetable pasta and it was beyond I think we're both probably gonna have that tonight and have a whole one each because it was so good The bread is also delicious and they did that with oil for us, which was great the puddings We could have a sorbet, but by that point we were like Nah, so we loved it there We went there again this morning and had another little like off the number off the number off the menu number I actually had the toast and jam didn't love it ryan's was incredible so i will be having that tomorrow then we went for a little walk around the local village honestly we've decided we couldn't in fact live out here because i'm so used to having like a shop two meters from my house so i would miss that a lot there is not a tesco's local <laughs> around the corner here people it's crazy anyway things you didn't need to know but yeah we went for a little walk that was very lovely and just came back here I made myself a cup of tea and I started like obviously getting ready for the day, done my makeup again. I'm really enjoying this makeup look at the moment so I will probably do it with you in a vlog soon. But yeah, that is the day in a nutshell so far. Not really, you've not really missed anything too much. Let's just zoom in. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we are now just kind of chilling until our pool slot which I'm very much looking forward to. They have like a natural spring water pool here. They do have to put like chlorine in it or something like that but it's very like fancy oh yeah there are sheep here which i'm obsessed with i will try and show you one if we pass one but there's just like these random sheep which when i stayed here before i swear they didn't have the sheep and i'm really really obsessed with them i would like one for my house i think they cost a lot of money you haven't said that it's a chair oh yeah these <laughs> oh my god actual sheep yeah so these like sheep that look like chairs they don't look like chairs they're like sheep but they are chairs you just sit on them i'll have to show you <laughs> what's wrong with me honestly i i think i'm done i'm about to cry i think i'm done with like speaking you guys i can't do this anymore but yeah we're waiting for our pool slot i'm kind of hungry i'm getting very peckish yeah me? but yeah we're gonna go for a little wonder find some food i will bring you with me this time we are out the room and i have remembered the camera people it's going well wow. looks like it could tip it down at any moment excellent it's been gorgeous all morning it's our time to go down to the pool and yeah great <laughs> it's the greatest cloud of <sighs> honestly the weather the weather recently but especially up this end of the country and i say up this end because i'm from the furthest bit south you can physically get the weather in this part of the country don't rate it give me brighton saying that i could probably put up with the weather for this house gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and a garden like this because this is goals i love it i wish my garden was tended to this well at the moment i have not been home in a long time properly to the point where my mum is now i think she's taking over the garden she just turned up at my house the other day and did loads of stuff and i'm fully rating it thank you mum love you oh, loads of chicken <gasps> oh my god this is what i was really sad about not having my camera for earlier you guys it's just like chickens roaming I don't know, I don't know what it's doing. I'm not a chicken expert. It's pecking. Look at them, they're so cute. Yeah. Guys, I put on my stories that I'd like to get chickens. Obviously not in the house that I have now, but I put a poll on my stories like, shall I get chickens? Loads of you are against it, but look at them. Hey guys. They're so cute. I don't think they do want to say hello to you, babe. Sure. Ryan's really sad that the chickens won't make friends with him. I'm going to start eating them again. <laughs> <laughs> You wouldn't. You guys, these are the sheep. I'm obsessed with them. 
Do we love them? Can you let me know? I think one of these would look fab in my bedroom. Or do I get rid of the jug, the giant armchair, and the bench in the living room and replace it with a sheet? What do you think? I prefer the one without the horns. Do you know what? I didn't even notice there was one without horns. That's crazy. I actually prefer the one with the horns. Yeah. Maybe we should get both. No? Okay. So we have arrived at the pool, which is a very cute, perfect spot for me, fully showing you the outfit. But we are really happy because although it looks like the weather is terrible, this pool is heated. It can rain. It can rain all at once. I don't care. This is, I'm so happy because I'm going to get wet anyway. I'm so buzzing about this. And because the weather looks a little bit ropey, but it's still super warm out, no one is here. How deep is 1.2 meters? That's not very deep, is it? It's like three. <laughs> oh, he's in. He's in. Are you going to jump in? Huh? Let me know so I can stand back. I'm going to bomb, yeah. <laughs> oh, Are you actually? No. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this is a nice place. 27 degrees, she said. So I'm wearing a bikini underneath this, so it's a little bit like lumpy and bumpy, but this is this is the outfit. Doesn't look like I'm wearing a towel, probably. Is it comfy? Hell yes. So I'm enjoying it. And then I also wore this bag. Hang on. And this bag, just because it fits everything in. And I look really beachy right now but I'm just rolling with it. Right guys so I'm gonna do a bomb and you're gonna have a, a point of view angle so here we go. It's water, waterproof yeah, right? It's <laughs> go on show us your trick. <laughs> wow that is more like it. That's what I'm talking about. Come on blue sky. It's coming. It's coming. So we are back from the pool. We had a lovely swim. I would have shown you more however the pool started to fill up with people, not the actual pool, the pool area. And also, mid-filming, my battery died. We then put my other battery in the camera. Turns out, I brought the flat battery from my bag with me and not the battery that had full charge. Basically, I thought I'd effed up big time and bought a flat battery from home. The third one was flat. It wasn't. I actually just packed the wrong battery. I packed yesterday's battery in my bag because I'm a moron. But luckily, we are back in business, which I'm very happy about because I really didn't want to have to carry out the rest of this trip on my phone camera because it's just not quite the same. But it's now about half four. Yeah, half four. We have dinner at 6.15. I think we're going to go a bit early and we're going to have some drinks and some light bread before because, honest to God, I am starving. We really didn't plan our day out very well. We haven't had lunch. Ryan is like off camera just dying of hunger so yeah that is the plan we're gonna get ready for dinner now i'll catch up with you in a little bit okay we are ready for dinner i'm wearing a little dress from zara which i don't think i've ever showed you guys before or maybe it did appear in a vlog i really can't quite remember but i picked this up a little while back it's from zara it's like a jersey super comfy bodycon dress but it has this really cute little like tie neck situation and it just makes it look a little bit more glam so very appropriate for dinner but very comfortable so when the foo baby comes out it's gonna be so great i've just straightened my hair as well using the ghd unplugged which worked very well but yeah that is what i'm wearing this evening that is it same same sandals i've worn this entire time i literally haven't unpacked another pair of shoes yet apart from my converse so these have been my go-to like actual and getting dressed properly shoe and i'm really enjoying them ryan and i are matching he is also wearing an all black outfit. <laughs> Stunning. The sun is fully out. Where have you been? Must we were sitting on the sun loungers this afternoon. What a scam. My favourite little walk. Gonna miss doing this. Oh my god, if Lauren Jemson were an ice cream, this would be it. <laughs> Look at that, it's so pretty. Good morning. Ooh, weather's looking okay. It's actually bright blue skies when I got up this morning. I got a bit excited. The sun is still poking up, so hopefully we'll be quite lucky for our pool slot this morning. We are on our way to breakfast. I'm actually taking you 
to breakfast today. I've remembered my camera. And I'm very excited because I'm going to have what Ryan had yesterday because I was really jealous of his food. You come out of it again as well. Yeah, it was, was really good. good. So excited to show you. Do my favourite little walk. This is my favourite little bit to walk down. So many bumblebees. It smells so good. Here we are. This is the cutest restaurant ever. I've decided that the sheep would actually look really good in Ryan's living room. So, I think we might need to make this happen, people. You've got less furniture than I do. I don't think he's sold. Can everyone try and convince him? Thank you. Guys, I forgot to take a photo of my breakfast. This was it. We're gonna insert a photo in the screen of what my breakfast was. Yeah, basically like this, but fancy. This restaurant is so gorgeous. I am obsessed with all of these beams. This is what I want to turn my garage into. It has beams in case anyone is wondering. swim this morning and we have come to a garden centre in Burford. This is actually all Ryan's idea. I would like to put that out there. You're all well excited for this aren't you? Yes. Ryan has something from here that he wants to get as like a memorabilia of his trip. It's really pretty here. I don't know if this is the one that lots of people come to when they come to Burford but it's really pretty. So yeah we're gonna have a wander around, get some lunch, just chill and then head back home and pick up Shrimpy who I'm very excited yes. to see because I haven't seen her in so long. I'm really into their home things. This is very cute. This is shopping with Ryan 99% of the time. Just flicking through all the cookbooks. Meanwhile, I have found a giant can of my favourite olives. My weirdest tool to date. Here goes another one cookbook. It's a sweet one. A sweet one. Okay. Here we go. His chosen one. You are the chosen one. <laughs> it's so hot in here. I am absolutely dying. Oh my god, guys! Look at this greenhouse. I don't even feel like the camera's going to do it justice. This garden centre is insane. Also the most ridiculously expensive garden centre I've ever known. There is a pot up here that retails for £1,030 or something, Ryan said. £1,320, oh my god. You need to show them because you could fit in it. So. It is pretty big, but I feel like if I found it in Sussex it would be cheaper. I'm just saying. <laughs> It's pretty big. With my giant olives. Yeah, that's just a normal can of olives. It's just because you're so small, it looks huge. Happy with my olives. Also, so happy with my new Converse. Literally picked these up for wilderness just in case it was dry enough to wear trainers and thought I'd send them back if I didn't wear them, but I've actually been loving them. I didn't wear them for wilderness at all. But yeah, anyway, I'm really happy with my little purchase. They've been such a good little addition to my wardrobe on this trip. I think I'm going to be wearing these for the rest of summer into autumn. We have come to Molly's Diner, which is actually where I was like two days ago. I've got a little strawberry daiquiri to celebrate the end of vacay. We've got our vegan burgers. Ryan is so happy right now. It's so cute in here as well. So, so cute. I've got a little salad, my vegan burger. I had this the other night when I was in the motel. It was so good. This place is designed by a Soho house as well as the motel and it's just lovely. I'm a big fan and it's been so nice for us. We've eaten such like healthy food over the past few days and I've been dying for a burger. So this is... <laughs> Enjoy knowing that 
the packing situation for a more personal stay <laughs> that is not my own work trip is a lot more low-key than my packing situation in the previous vlogs. Most of the suitcase is taken up by cake and snacks and I literally have a pair of trackies in there as a filler to stop the cake and snacks sliding around too much and we have a whole bit of blank space. So, just so you know, not an absolute princess 100% of the time. Princess 100% of the time. Ryan just fully lolled at me, so uh, I'm not sure he would agree. But I thought I'd show you a little outfit of the day. We're going to a festival in Cardiff. Is it called Colour Clash? Yeah. Colour Clash? Yeah, which Ryan's playing at. So I thought I'd bring you along, and this is, this is the outfit. I really didn't think that much about it, but I got this dress from Lorna's In The Style Collection, and I really wanted to wear it. I'm not sure it's massively festival appropriate, but I'm rolling with it, because I just really wanted to wear it. It's so cute. I got it in petite from her collection so the length is so nice on me i can like make it a little bit shorter if i like tighten it as well but i just didn't want to petite size six you can go a size down i wouldn't i would normally go for an eight but with a wrap dress as well it just gives you so much like freedom so you can really like even if i picked an eight or a ten because you can wrap it yourself it really cinches in so yeah the six is actually perfect so very very happy with it got my converse on again because i am obsessed with these at the moment like if there is an outfit and i can't wear these i'm not wearing the outfit i'm not coming goodbye and then i've got this little bag from west 22 i was gonna wear my chloe backpack but this just fits a little bit more in that's the look i'm not sure it fully goes but i'm just rolling with it because this is not my work day and it actually feels really nice i've also got my ysl sunglasses on on the top of my head because as i say in every vlog elite tier hair accessory on my lips i have anastasia beverly hills crush liquid lipstick mixed with a Too faced one which i will pop the name of in the info box because i can't remember it and then a little bit of lip liner which is a kkw beauty one from i think it's called the love lip liner from the wedding collection which is just my favorite it's like a more brownie color it's really pretty i'm gonna get more of these liquid lipsticks because i'm really enjoying them my jewellery is Monica Vinida. If the discount code is still live, I will link it. I need to put, I need to find the bigger hoop earrings. I have lost them. They're somewhere in the house and I don't know where. Yeah, and makeup not looking too bad today considering I actually I had my second vax on Thursday and this side of my lip, one of the side effects is like cosmetic enhancements can swell. I last had filler put into my lips in August 2018. I didn't actually think there was any filler left in my lip. But this half of this this just this half of my lip swelled so big I will pop some really awful photos of what I looked like yesterday on. It's only ever so slightly swollen today, which is goals because I was like, oh my god, we're gonna go and meet people that Ryan potentially knows and they're gonna be like, Wow, Nala, no thank you. And they're gonna be like, Wow, his girlfriend looks so weird. So yeah, my lips are like 90% back to normal but as you can see they kind of like slant here which you know is not the end of the world but I I know but yesterday like you could tell but we are about to hit the road we need to drop shrimpy at my mum's I need coffee I just need I need something so it is about two o'clock what's going on with my hair here honestly i look i look disheveled it's been a slightly stressful trip we've had some traffic but we are making good time i'm so happy about this i've literally been watching the clock like praying praying yeah south wales this way i'm very excited i've never been to wales i'm really buzzing about this but yeah the sun is coming out for us too so good vibes we are nearly there I can't wait. Also, were you being serious about the fact that people like throw paint around at this festival or were you like pulling my leg? It's a paint, like it's a paint fly, yeah. It's called colour clutch. I really can't tell if he's pulling my leg. Look I'm gonna have to look it up. I'm scared. Do I need to change out of this dress, guys? It's like paint, it's like, I think it's like dry paint, like paint sort of bonds almost. You throw them in the air and then it comes back down. He must be having me on. Got it, thank you. <laughs> yeah, to go back to me not believing Ryan, 
it's true so maybe i picked the wrong outfit maybe a brand new dress was not the best idea it's all right because they give you fancy dress costumes when you get them right now he's having me off Okay, we are at the hotel. The bed is a little bit disheveled because I've actually been the one that's jumped on it and rolled on it this time. Not this one. I know. I know. I even said to him, please don't roll on the bed before I start vlogging it. What did I do? I jumped on it. So mature. <laughs> so mature. You jump on hotel room beds. <laughs> For goodness sake. You're lucky your legs are long enough that they don't even touch the bed when you do that. Mine would be, I'd be in the middle of it. But yeah, it's very, very cute in here got a nice big tv for me to be watching love island on later and ryan is absolutely thrilled about it there's a little desk set up and up here it's very cute because i really should have turned the light on but oh you can hear that echo look at this look at this oh my goodness so gorgeous there's a little walk-in wardrobe behind here with a full-length mirror which i am loving let me show you hang on Ta -da! this is my outfit for the day, which I don't think I've showed you. Oh no, I did show you, I showed you this morning. Please, all hotels, please just have a little full length mirror for Suze, it would make me very happy. But yeah, so very happy with my little walk-in wardrobe situation that I've got here. These dressing gowns, oh my God, cannot wait to get into these later. I think we're gonna do a swim, a sauna, hot tub situation. We're gonna go have dinner now and pick up some swim stuff because we were silly and we forgot that but yeah so lovely gonna come back here have a dip in the tub after it's so nice and we've got a little sink situation here shower oh that shower looks so good i'll link this hotel in the info box if anyone is interested it's called like the lang langley langley hall something like that we literally booked it at like nine o'clock this morning when we decided we were staying so this was the last room left and we are very very happy with it I'm very, Princess is very, very happy with it. But yeah, right now, these silly billies are going to one of the shops to go and get some swim stuff. You guys, look how cute this hotel is. I really, really like it. So bougie. Everything is so big. Like, there's these big, like, archways up here. It's amazing. Stella is that bigger than mine. Yeah. Oh my god, absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's so big. Yeah. How cute is this? 
Vai es lauku jādu? Good morning, everybody. So we had to rush out of our hotel room a little bit this morning because we had a very nice lie in and we're running a little bit late. So <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit like disheveled right now, but we are on our way into Cardiff city center. We're gonna walk around, get a coffee, maybe get some food. Ryan has been like scouting all of the food Instagrams. He was basically up late last night and very early this morning looking at all of the food Instagrams. So we're gonna just have a wander around see what's going on. I'm excited. I feel like I haven't been anywhere new in so long. I'm also excited just to have a little shop, just have a little walk as well, stretch my legs out. Love a morning walk. I'm wearing the Zara skirt that I bought in maybe not the last vlog, the vlog before. Or was it the last vlog? Honestly, can't remember. No idea. I will link it somewhere up here if you want to go and have a watch of that. But yeah, we're going to have a little coffee, a little walk. See what Cardiff's saying. Ooh, this is so pretty. I don't know what any of these buildings are. I'm very uncultured, but this is very pretty. I'm enjoying this. Feels very Parisian. Am I am I getting that right? Is that the vibe? Love it. So gorgeous. really well after eating. So impressed with it. I need to buy more. We are currently going for a little walk because basically we went to walk around the city centre and got rained off and we were literally standing outside Oaxaca and we were like let's just eat here. We really wanted to go somewhere local. It did not happen because we were just being drenched and I look like this so yeah. I'm dressed very inappropriately. So yeah, we've had a little pit stop at Oaxaca. You really enjoyed it, didn't you? Yeah, so good. First time at Oaxaca. Yeah, I was shocked. I didn't realize Ryan had never been to Oaxaca, but their vegan menu is actually very, very good. So I'm definitely very happy with our choice. But yeah, we're gonna have a little walk now, a little shop. It's so cute here. All the buildings are really old, it's really nice. So yeah, that is gonna be our afternoon. And then we kind of need to head home because yes. it is already, I don't know how, it's already quarter past two. So we need to get a move on. Shopping centres this big will never not blow my mind. So we are home and I thought I'd show you a quick little haul of the things I picked up whilst we're in Cardiff. Real like basic bitch vibes here, but I've been looking for this cup from Starbucks for the longest time. These are all over Instagram and I really wanted just like a clear one. You guys will know. I love my Starbucks cups and I finally got my hands on a clear one so very happy about that. Then also got a few of the most expensive fragrances known to man. These are by YSL. I absolutely love them. I've always wanted some and I thought I would treat myself. So we have Caban which is basically like I'll show you the bottle. They're really gorgeous. This one is like a coconutty scent. This is the vibe of the bottles. So, so pretty. This one is like a coconutty like holiday style scent. If you like Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess you will love that one and this next one is called sleek suede and it is stunning this one is real gorgeous like dark chocolatey vibes it is just unreal if you like things like tom ford tobacco vanilla all saints metal wave you will absolutely love this and the bottles are just so cool so very happy with my two little purchases which gave ryan a slight hernia when I paid for them at the till. But I am gonna smell so good on our next little staycation, which starts tomorrow. Yeah, you heard me right. We're off again tomorrow. Don't worry, I will be vlogging. For now, I'm gonna love you and leave you. I'm in my like sweats and I need to take my makeup off and put my hair on top of my head and just chill. Not that I haven't been chilling in the car for like three hours, but just like sit, have some food, pack for the next trip, you know the vibe. So I will be back with you tomorrow morning. But in the next vlog, I hope you've all enjoyed seeing what we got up to this week. I love you all lots and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye.